Today we're going to use these lead test swabs to test lead on some vintage weights I'm restoring. Now I don't think these have lead, I'm pretty sure they don't, so the test should come out negative, but let's go ahead and try it. So the test says that you want to use white vinegar, so I've got some white vinegar here, and I'm going to pour it into a little cup. So let's pour a little bit of white vinegar in here. So that's step one, you're going to need some white vinegar. And I just got this stuff on Amazon. All right, step two says if uh, wet swab with white vinegar. Okay, so let's take a swab out. Okay, that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and pan the camera down so we can continue the process together here. So let's wet it. And then it says if swab tip has turned a mustard yellow color, the test is activated and ready. Rub surface with swab tip for at least 30 seconds. So here's my weight, which may or may not contain lead. Um, make sure you wear gloves. And it says, if swab turns red, violet, or pink, uh, there is likely lead present. Uh, the surface may also stain pink if low levels of lead are present. So uh, we're looking for red, violet, or pink, and we want to do this for about um, at least 30 seconds. I'm not seeing uh, any red, violet, or pink. These were probably, these are old vintage weights. They're by a, a company named Roberts. And the paint is probably fairly new. So it's probably not lead paint. You know, usually you can tell, like, you know, if they're using like really funny, old school looking pastel colors from the 60s. Uh, but these are just spray painted black probably, so it's probably fine. I'm not sure if it's been 30 seconds. I'm going to wait 20 more seconds here. Whoops, I broke the thing. I'm scrubbing so aggressively. Yeah, it says if swab turns red, violet, or pink, there is likely lead present. Uh, the, the surface may also stain pink if low levels are present. And I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anything. Let's wait a few more seconds here. Oh, and here it tells you no lead detected, lead detected. See, so no lead, it's just basically going to be no lead versus lead. So you can hold it up to the thing and tell. So there's no lead in these, so all is good. It's not even remotely pink, and neither is, is, is this vintage weight plate. So successful test. I don't have lead uh, on these uh, Roberts uh, five-pound vintage weights that I've tested here uh, with these lead test swabs. Uh, happy with my purchase. I, I collect vintage weights and I'll be testing uh, all the new ones that I acquire in my collection. So yeah, it's a good way to test for lead and I'm happy with my purchase. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.